Hi guys, I'm back with another Timu haul, bringing you a little short one um, for Sunday afternoon. Let me get my, um, I always forget the name of it, thumbnail. Okay, I got it. Y'all, I had an outpatient um, procedure Friday, and I'm still not feeling that great, which is probably why I'm kind of... Not with it, but anyway, let me cut open this first package. I know what this is, and I need to be really careful with it. I'm gonna get right on into it here. Um, I hope this is as great as it was in the pictures. Hold on, I should have had this cut open. Okay, let's see what we got here. And I'm gonna make a mess out of these nails. Well, they've already started breaking anyway. Guys, I took the advice of MC Beaters, Caroline, and I took some of these, um, I put some of these Timu nails on, and then I put the gel um, coating over them, and went under the UV light, and they are still just breaking right and left. That middle one broke. I mean, they're all just breaking right and left. So, I think, I mean, if you're going for cheap, Press on nails, I think that definitely the Dollar Tree. If you can find the Kiss nails at the Dollar Tree, you're getting a much better buy and you don't have to wait on them. And you can hold them up to your hand to make sure they're the right size and all that. Okay. Okay. This is not going as I'd hoped. This is a nightmare with this package. Um, but we've almost got right here. Okay, I told you guys, I've been, um, primitive slash farmhouse for probably the last 30 years in my decorating. Um, and I've decided to go boho. So, I'm slowly changing all my decor up. Excuse me, I'm having to stand up a second. I'm slowly trying to change all my decor up. Um, this summer, I plan on having a huge yard sale and getting rid of a lot of primitive stuff and farmhouse stuff so I can completely switch over. Okay, and after all that, well, I don't think this is meant to be, guys. Timu does not play. But this is a large wall hanging. Now, I think maybe going back, maybe going up on the wall right behind me. Guys, I should have started opening this before I ever started. I really should have. Woo, all that paper is finally gone. It's still wrapped in plastic, but look at this. It's big and it's gorgeous. It's a big, beautiful boho tree of life. And, I, and it's got got two hangers on the back so all you have to do is take your measuring tape and measure out where your two nails need to go in the wall it's extremely lightweight even um a single wide trailer wall would hold this easily this is extremely lightweight artwork it will work anywhere so let's get this second box in. so I, yeah i'm tickled pink with that and it was an excellent deal it was some kind of um flash sale they were having if they emailed me about it i think i'd had it in my cart and they um Messaged me with some kind of super dee duper deal on it. So, your girl went for it. Okay. Next, we have... Guys, I am obsessed. Let me this little bag. I am obsessed. Guapo. Excuse me. Guys, I have a 16-year-old chihuahua. This is my absolute baby boy. He's got heart disease. Don't worry, he's being treated at the vet, but he he doesn't like to be without mama's attention for long. But guys, these these little um clogs, these croc knockoffs, this is about the sixth pair I've ordered. They are literally lighter than a feather. These things weigh nothing. They are fabulous. They are so easy to slip on, to run out to the store, to run out with the dog, uh, to change the cat box, to do whatever you need to do. I mean, and I think they, with the right outfit, they even be cute enough to wear like out somewhere. 
They're darling, and I love how light they are because I have a terrible back, and um, they're just so much easier on me. Okay, next, guys, I have never fooled with anything like this. This is one of these messy buns, and I don't even think I've really got it the right color. I think I went too dark. Yeah, I think I went too dark, but um, we're going to try it out anyway. Basically, it comes, you know, with one of these jaw clips and so you just sort of make your own bun and stick it on there right now my own bun is too big to put this on but i'll do a short once i figure out hmm it is a messy bun that's messy um, but i will do a short once i figure this out and i'll show the back of my head i'll get my husband to take a, a picture of the back of my head once i figure this out and have it on and yeah i'll show you how that works out then, guys, oh, this is so much cuter than I thought it would be. I am obsessed with crossbody handbags. And it's because um, we travel a lot. We take day trips. We, you know, we, we just do a lot of traveling. We fly and drive. But anyway, wherever I go, if it's like a touristy place and I want to look around, I want to be hands-free. And this crossbody purse is just the cutest. I love mustard yellow so much. I just love the shade. I think it's perfect for summer. I cannot wait to carry this bad boy. Let me see if I can cut this open. Yeah, and it's got a very long strap. So if you're, if you're a tall gal like me, you can still... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It has a pin mark on the back. Oh, no. It has a pin mark on the back. It looks like it ha literally has ink on it. Oh, I wonder if I could get it out or if I should report it. I'll tell them and see if they'll send me another one or see what they say. But it's on the back, and I still think it's a darling purse from the front. And don't, let's see. So it's got your zipper compartment here where I like to keep my phone because I like to, you know, if, if I need to take a picture of, you know, the spur of the set, at the spur of the moment. Duh, guys, I don't think I was well enough to do this video today, <laughs> but here we are. Anyway, um, yeah, and it's got your uh, standard pockets inside. It's got your pockets here, you know, for your, it's got a zipper pocket for like your makeup and whatever you have that you like to carry with you and your medications. And then it's got this separate little pocket beneath where you can slip a phone or just a pair of nail clippers, lipstick, whatever, whatever you need to slip in there. Anyway, I'm very disappointed that it has a mark on the back. Oh, that makes me so sad. But I think once I fill it with paper, I'm gonna fill it with tissue paper so it can get its shape better. And I like that it has a nice wide bottom. It'll stand up. Yeah, absolutely love this. Okay, and then just a couple more things here. We're gonna keep this one short today. Which, by the way, guys, I have a ton of makeup dupes coming in, tons. Um, according to tracking, by the end of this week, I should have quite a bit of makeup on my hands to show you guys. And I'll be ready with pictures of what they're duping and everything, as always. And if I have the products they're duping, I'll definitely compare them you know, side by side. But, um, okay, this, I'm not sure how this works. This is another one that I will have to figure out and then do a short on once I get it set up and going. But it says, Zen, Zen Den, and it apparently takes batteries. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think the light is within this and you have to string it around. I'm really not sure. I'm gonna to have to read the directions. But in the pictures when this was lit up, it's very cute. I wish it was larger. I thought it was gonna be larger. I would say it's about 10 inches wide. But anyway, I still think it'll be cute in the white little spot lit up. So yeah, we'll do a short on that one too. Once we figure out how it works, or I'll just do a mini review of some products in the future once I've tried them all out. But I'm not gonna um, waste a bunch of time on it today. But, let me see what else we have here. Oh, I have a couple more things in here I just wanna share with you and then we'll wrap this up. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Let me put this light back in here. I just wanna keep everything together. Okay, this. 
I absolutely love this. As soon as I saw the picture of it, I had to have it. This is a little fabric planter bowl. It's, it's lined in plastic, which makes it perfect to put like a potted plant in, fake or real. But it is absolutely darling. It's gonna have to stand up and, you know, I'm gonna have to put some plastic bags or, you know, tissue paper, whatever, in here, probably a bunch of old plastic grocery bags so I can um, get it to round out and feel its shape. But this is so cute and hobo looking, I can't stand it. It is going to be adorable with a plan in it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Boy, am I creating a mess for myself. Okay. So, it's not like I don't already have enough makeup brushes for about 10 people. <laughs> but I bought this little, this is a, a dupe of the Real Techniques brushes, which I'm sure we've all seen. Anybody who's been to Walmart has probably seen Real Techniques brushes. But anyway, this is a set of the minis, which they do make a mini set. It usually comes out at Christmas, the little travel size set. But... I have travel size brushes from different brand and I don't need these. So these again will be saved for a giveaway. So I'm just gonna be not touching them, not taking them out of their wrappers, nothing. I'm just gonna be putting this to the side. Um, let's see. Oh, I finally got my gel top coat and base coat. But in the meantime, when I was trying to do what Caroline had recommended, I had an old bottle of Sally Hansen gel polish that I tried to use. This might be more effective. I think this is what Caroline was actually using on her on her um, press-ons to make them stronger. Hopefully it'll work. Another thing I'll review later and let you know. Um, we don't have much left, guys. We're about to wrap this up. Um, I also wanted to show you, this is something that made me so mad. I have a lot of health problems and I take a lot of medication. So, as I said, when we travel, I need like big bags to carry all my makeup. Guys, when I when we travel, I take so much makeup, I have to have the biggest bag the law allows <laughs> to carry all my makeup in it because I like variety. I'm gonna take like six palettes with me, several different foundations, a bunch of lip, I mean, I'm just gonna take a bunch. But, um, but this, is about my medications. I have a lot of medications and I was hoping that this was the huge version of these bags. Um, this will not be back big enough to hold all my medication bottles and injections and everything that I have to carry. But um, I will find a use for it because I think it is super cute. The animal print with the, with the um, it almost matches my shirt sort of, with the um, sort of the seafoam green chenille lettering. This is so cute. I will, I will definitely find a use for this. And when I do, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, and then I think I had, okay. Just two pieces of jewelry here, I think is all I have left. Um, let's see, I think I may have already shown this. Let me, let me try to get it open. This is just becoming a pain trying to get things open. If this is the one I'm thinking about, this is a stretchy bracelet. Yes, this is a stretchy bracelet that I think I am actually going to use as an anklet this summer. I think it would be, sorry guys, I'm sweating. I'm just really, I think my blood pressure's up. I'm just not, not really not feeling well. But um, yeah, I think this will be a darling anklet. I have little skinny legs. When I was a kid, my friends or the, the neighborhood bullies rather would call me a stork. Oh, look. That Karen the Stork's coming. Anyway, yeah, I have tiny little legs, long, tiny legs. And this little bracelet will work perfectly as an anklet for me. I think it'll be adorable. And um, then lastly, I have this bracelet here that, again, I wasn't thinking because I think this is more of a something like you give a little girl for like first communion. See, it's got a cross. But I still think it's cute. I'm not Catholic, but it's still a cute fit. It's big enough to dangle a little. I think it's cute. Along with some other stretchy bracelets, I think it'll be adorable. Really, really cute. 
for summer because it's white. Um, I usually don't wear a lot of gold, but when I switch up and wear some gold earrings, I'll just pop this right on and we'll be pretty as you please. Okay, but guys, I think that's all I have for you today, finally. I know this was sort of chaotic, especially in the beginning, trying to get that big picture open, but it was definitely worth it. I absolutely love it. I think it may go up right behind me in this big blank space behind me that I'm so sick of seeing every time I film. I think that's exactly where that picture is going to go. I'm just going to get my husband to put it up for me. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your weekend. And um, by the way, I have more hauls coming. And I, the ones I have coming have makeup, lots and lots and lots of makeup. Guys, we're going to be duping. So look forward to that later this week. As soon as I receive all my goodies, I will be putting up the video. Thanks so much, guys. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.